Hello, it's Johnny. Today I'm going to go over the new joystick that I just got from the Amazon.com.jp. Uh, it just came in today, not today, but a couple of days ago. Uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, do a video. But this, this uh, joystick, the line is about uh, 76 inches. Okay. So it's 76 inches long. So it's pretty long. And I like the joystick because it is very uh, soft and smooth at the at the back, and it have the curve in the in the back. So it look a little bit like a uh, like a Neo Geo, not Neo Geo, but look like a Nintendo joystick because it's kind of square, but it feel good in, in your hand. It feels soft and it's in your back, and the joystick work well. So when you plug it in. It doesn't, you know, how Neo Geo, uh, if you plug in port 1, then port 2 cannot control the, the joystick, the game. So let me zoom in that and I'll show it to you. This is plugged into port 2 and I still could control it and I still could play the game. Okay. And I still could shift the stuff. So that's what, I think one thing I like about the way Sega make it is, they make it where you could control it without depending on the first one. And the first controller could also uh, control it too as well. Okay. So they both could control the game. You don't have to be depend on the first joystick. Because this one is plugged into as a port number two. So if you look at it, uh, this is uh, P1, port number one. And the other one is port... Let me see if I can focus this. There you go. It's P number one. And I plug the joystick to P number two. So the P number two could also control the, the game. And this one, the sound to me is, is very good. And even with the IPS screen, the graphic, everything is real good. Now somebody asked me, can I uh can I test this? This is a Neo Geo uh adapter for Neo Geo so that that you could actually play a uh, different game system now before we go into that I just want to show you when you get the when you get the Neo Geo box this is what you get I mean Neo Geo no, uh, sorry retro Sega retro city the controller the mini uh, this is what it looked like the front of the box bottom and the size And so this is actually look like that. I'll have I have it upside down And the size the top I drew So this is the box that in case you guys want to know what it looked like Okay now one thing is real hard about this is once you put this in and that they have a little bit uh, snap on, it's real hard to pull this. Okay, here's the top. It's very hard to pull this out, to pull it open. It took a long time. I have to bend the box a little bit to, to reach in to pull this out. So once you open it, this is what's inside here. And the joystick, it go in here. And there's really not no instruction, nothing. Just just the the, the joystick going to this paper thing. All right. So I didn't do an open box, but I just want to kind of show you what it actually looked like if you if I did an open box. So I'm gonna put this back in here. It just the the box is very tight fit on everything. The box itself, and then the when you open it, it's very hard to. To pull this out, it's very hard to to uh, open the lid once you close once you close this thing. Okay, so the joystick I just want to show you that in your hand it feel good and the button layout. This is the right. <laughs> I always keep on holding the wrong way, holding upside down. But yeah, this is you could play it very well. And now here's a question: Is will this work? Ah. Uh, well, let's go ahead and test it and show it to you guys since you uh, somebody have already asked. I'm going to plug the Asteroid stick and I'm going to plug in the 
the Xbox joystick, which is this Xbox clone. Now, this this is how you normally go. You plug this behind it. All right, and you push this button to change the the, the color. So I'm gonna plug into port number two as well. And when you plug it in, the light light up. Let me demonstrate it. Okay, you plug into one. It light up, but then it go off. And this thing do not stay on. So there's no way of changing the mode because it's not compatible. So if you plug, if you press this button, no color change. So this this adapter will not work with this uh this Neo Geo adapter will not Neo Geo Mini adapter will not work on this system. Now it will work on Neo Geo Arcade Pro Stick. They just up we just update the firmware, so it will work with the Arcade Pro Stick, but it does not work on Astro. All right, so for those people who's wondering. But yes, this game is very cool. Uh, there already a lot of video out that went through the game and gameplay. So I'm not going to do any kind of gameplay today. Because uh, I want to do another video on arcade stick that I just bought. Which is for the retro, uh, for the Android. So stay tuned for that one. But I just want to do a quick video on uh, unboxing and showing you that this joystick right now and the big joystick are the only one that could play the asteroid. The other joystick that I have tested on the first video, none of them work. Uh, if you have Neo, if you have a Sega Genesis Mini uh, that come from Japan that have six button, that's the only one will work on this system. Every all the joysticks so far that I have tested, Bluetooth, PlayStation. Sega Genesis Mini that come with three button do not work. Uh, uh, 8-bit, retro bit, none of those joystick will work. Even if it says it's made for Sega, it will not work. So just let you know that so if you want to play two player, you probably be better your best bet is to get one of this. And I pay like $37 for this one from Amazon dot dot com dot japan so i'll give you the link with where i got this one and you could uh, order it as well all right and it, it didn't take that long i got it like in uh two less than two weeks like one week and a half you know maybe only one week it came pretty fast i guess it's because it's christmas so they're trying to get the package out to you as quickly as quickly as possible thank you for watching hopefully this helped talk to you later